Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm going to be doing my June bullet journal. Before we get into this video, I wanted to mention to you guys that I'm going to be linking some Black Lives Matter resources in my description to help spread awareness for this movement. So definitely check those resources out. I'm super excited to show you guys my spreads. They came out so cute this time. Also, I wanted to mention that I'm going to be linking my favorite bullet journal products down below. So speaking of bullet journal supplies, the company Parku actually reached out to me and offered to send me 20 of their erasable gel pens. And oh my gosh, I love love them so much they're so amazing and just look at all the colors they give you it's like an entire rainbow you can draw anything and these were so useful today when I was bullet journaling because I hate messing up and with my other pens I couldn't erase it it was like whatever it was there I had to use it these just make all my worries fly away because I can erase them erasable pens are amazing I use them every day for school I don't understand how people don't write with erasable pens because I always mess up when I'm writing and I just I need an erasable pen the usual ones that I get are twice as expensive as these ones and they are a little like slightly slightly better but honestly it really is not that much of a difference unless you're like super nitpicky about it this set of 20 pens retails for about 18 dollars on amazon and on the parku website which i'll also be linking down below and i totally recommend them and you guys should totally check them out they're so awesome and thank you parku for sending these to me i really love them without further ado let's get into the video so i wasn't really sure what i wanted my june theme to be but after scrolling on instagram i decided i wanted it to be kind of like a June summer treats kind of theme. So this cover page is inspired by Marikee Scripts on Instagram. She did like a popsicle cover page for her bullet journal and I thought it was so so pretty so I decided to recreate that and yeah so I was just using my Parku erasable gel pens to outline the popsicles and filling in like the little popsicle grooves and then I was going to use my felt tip pens to color them in and I wanted to kind of keep this like really fun summery colors scheme of yellows blues and pinks and then I also did like a unique kind of like red white and blue popsicle but unfortunately I actually colored it pink later because I just I wanted it to match the color theme and I don't know I kind of wish I left it white but it's fine but yeah it's really nice that when I was doing this I had erasable pens because a lot of the times I had like certain errors that I wanted to correct and just kind of make it a much smoother line and I was just able to do that so that it looked the way that I wanted it to but yeah I have to say this is one of my favorite cover pages that I've made in a while and I feel like I've come full circle since my first bullet journal video which was actually a year ago in June because June was the first month that I did it and yeah that cover spread compared to this one is definitely a lot more plain kind of simple and this one is just really detailed fun and I feel like I put a lot of work into it which I'm very proud of myself for but yeah I was just coloring them in and these felt tip pens are from five below and I don't I think they sell them like in most five blows because they weren't like anything special or anything they kind of just seemed like the regular ones that they sell but they're really great I mean I got like 10 different colors for five bucks which I mean how can you complain and I really like the felt tip because I can draw really thickly or thinly if I want to but back to the erasable pens the only two cons that I really find with these pens is that compared to my other brand that I used these ones don't erase as well like they do erase but you can kind of kind of see the outline of where you originally drew with the pen but honestly it's really not that bad like it's still erasable just that's kind of like a minor difference that I found and then the second difference is that I can't really describe it it's really hard to describe but with the other brand when you write with them it feels more like a regular pen kind of or just like a regular gel pen but with these ones they kind of feel a little bit more flat but honestly Honestly, like after doing this video I really did not notice that at all you just get really used to it and I feel like if you never tried a different brand of erasable pens before this you really would not you wouldn't really see that difference it because it, it's really just not that noticeable so this page I always do it's my goals and video ideas page I always love having this at the front because it kind of just motivates me for like new ideas and goals and keeps me kind of on track but yeah I kind of like to follow this lettering style that Haley Pham usually does in her bullet journals and I don't know why but I really like it but yeah she kind of does this like bubble letters and then she'll color it in with her like felt tip pens and stuff and oh my gosh I remember doing this s I kept redoing and redoing and redoing it because I wanted it to be even and perfect but eventually I got it because I was able to erase it and have it the way that I wanted it and let me know if you guys want to see like a how I use my bullet journal for YouTube kind of video or I don't know any like YouTube related videos because I know that there's a lot of small youtubers and I feel like there's some information that I can share so if you're interested in that totally let me know 
now because I'm planning to do some of those videos in the summer and I just love using this bullet journal for YouTube. It really just keeps me organized and motivated really because I just know when I'm going to upload and different video ideas and it's just kind of a place to dump like all the creative stuff going on through my brain at any given moment about YouTube and without my monthly video calendar slash schedule I literally feel like a mess like with May I had one but because I didn't have one for June and like June was coming up and I had all these videos and all these things to do I literally like just could not even upload a video because I, I wasn't organized like I didn't know what day it was I had school assignments and I was just a mess but yeah so I finally made a calendar for June because it's literally the middle of June now but we did it we did it she's here um but yeah I always love doing this this is like one of my favorite parts because I just love putting the little sticky notes and I should show you guys that someday of like when I'm gonna upload and just all my videos and I just I look at the month and I'm like yes this month is gonna be full of great videos and also usually my calendar spread is like one of my favorite ones it's either it's either the calendar spread or the cover page and the goals page that is usually my favorite so it's usually opened a lot and I see it so I like to make this page kind of pretty so to get inspiration for this monthly spread I looked on Instagram again and I found a spread that I really really liked and I wanted to recreate and it is from living life unpolished is Instagram she did a kind of cover page of lemons and then another cover page of lemonade and like a little mason jar and I thought that was so cute and I decided to recreate that on my monthly spread so on the bottom left side I decided to draw three lemon lime pink lemon kind of things and it was a little bit difficult because I don't know it's just it was hard to get the like little inside triangle looking things like nice but eventually I got it and I also want to mention before you guys comment this calendar is actually really big <laughs> and the reason for that is that I accidentally put in a complete extra like week and a half basically actually no it's kind of more like a week I accidentally put like an entire week of July on the calendar because I was trying to copy my old one which had like six different boxes and it, that just wasn't it wasn't the same and I didn't notice that but yeah so the blue little numbers if you can like barely see that's for July and I think I'm just gonna kind of like keep them there but I'll still make like a July spread but yeah so now I'm making the mason jars with the pink lemonade and the lemonade and the limeade limeade and I think they came out really nice I did little straws with the little stripes I was I was gonna draw metal straws actually but then I didn't have a gray marker so I was just like come on like it's it's not real like it, it's fine oh and then I also forgot to mention that I usually do a little video list at the side to just kind of put like any extra video ideas or little like video post-it note kind of squares and I also like to do a stats at the bottom left corner just to kind of track my growth and all that stuff for analytical purposes and then I just finished coloring in the mason jars okay so I just realized that I forgot to put the days of the week so let me do that right now I don't really know how I forgot this because because, I mean, how did I not notice an entire blank? Also, this is going to stay blank throughout the whole video, except for this part. So enjoy that inconsistency. <laughs> so now we're at one of my favorite pages of this spread. And I kind of came up with this. I consume a lot of media and I like to kind of remember like certain things that I really enjoyed that month or found that month just to kind of keep a track. So yeah, I like to do a TV, movie, YouTube, and podcast page. And I recently realized that I have a lot more favorite songs than any of the other stuff. So I wanted to do like an entire dedicated playlist page and the Instagram Instagram account that inspired the playlist page that I am drawing is seed underscore successful underscore use Instagram account. I remember seeing this post like such a long time ago and I thought it was so cute and I don't know like I kind of just wanted to recreate it and print out the song covers and just kind of put them there and put the song titles. But yeah the real reason that I did this is because the way that I do my bullet journals I like to kind of have it end on a second page and not like the first page so that my cover page can be on the first page of the next page. That probably didn't make a lot of sense but I think you guys know what I mean and then I put like little play rewind and fast forward buttons and I was going to do it for like all of them but I got way way too lazy and I was just like yeah you guys are gonna get so bored of that really quick so I did of these three diagonals and I feel like it still came out really cute and it looks intentional which is always my goal but besides the consistency of like where I have my page layout it is really nice to have the music section have its own page to kind of give the songs a spotlight so now we are on to my 
my weekly kind of spreads that I have been doing and I kind of created myself actually. I definitely have been inspired by certain accounts, but this exact layout is kind of my creative layout, if you will. But yeah, so what I like to do is I like to kind of do a column for the day of the week. And then I like to do like a little, well, it used to be called do because I had school assignments, but now it's called notes. And I kind of just will put like, oh, I'm gonna upload a video this day or this or anything I want to kind of like have. Anything that I want to grab my attention, kind of like top priorities, anything like that. And then I like to put the week it is. So I'll put June 15th through 20th. And I like to kind of put like a little circle and then put like the day. I just, it looks really cute. It adds color to it and yeah. And then as for the bottom section, that is where I put sticky notes. And I don't think I showed it in this bullet journal, but in my May one I might have, but I use these colorful sticky notes and I interchange them and it makes the page really colorful, really cute. And I don't know what it is, but I like what sticky notes, like I can always like erase it and stuff. What I mean is that it's not permanent in my bullet journal. I can always take it off or move it around. So this is the final bullet journal. I am so proud of how it came out. It is actually one of my favorite spreads that I've ever done. It's super colorful and summery and I I really love like every single spread in this one, which is always a good feeling to have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to film. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to reach 8K really soon. And also make sure to give this video a like. Let's try to get it to 50 likes. And comment down below if you bullet journal, if you've tried it and maybe stopped, or if you've never bullet journal and kind of want to try. I'm super curious. Also make sure to follow my Instagram and Snapchat. It's a super fun time on there. And I post really great stories. And I'll see you guys in my next video.